vocal prayer. Exercise 34 of Anthony de Mello's Sadhana, Away to God. Saint John Climacus initiated people into the art of prayer through a method that is so obvious that it is largely ignored. Here is his method in substance. Become aware of God in whose presence you are while you pray. Then take a formula of prayer and recite it with perfect attention, both to the words you are saying and to the person to whom you are saying them. Let us suppose you choose the Lord's Prayer. Begin to recite it from start to finish with perfect attention. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Meaning each word that you recite. If at any point you are distracted, return to the word or phrase where you got distracted and repeat it, if necessary, again and again, until you can say it with perfect attention. When you have gone through the whole formula with perfect attention, go over it again and again, or move on to some other prayer formula. This was all the method that many of the saints used in their prayer. And they made considerable progress in the art of prayer and contemplation on the basis of this alone. Here is another form of practicing vocal prayer. Take a prayer formula or a psalm. Recite it through once and notice the words that you can say most easily and the words that come to you with the greatest difficulty. Here is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing 
I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Your restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these, you give me comfort. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes, my head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. Choose the one line in that psalm that appeals to you the most, the one that comes most easily to you, your favorite line in the whole psalm. Recite it again and again. Feed your hungry spirit on it. You may do the same with one or two other lines that particularly appeal to you. Now, choose the line that you have the greatest difficulty saying. Recite it again and again. And notice what you feel. What happens to you when you recite it? What it says to you about yourself or about your dealings with God? Then pray spontaneously to God about this. As you move along the pathways of prayer, you will make sure, if you are wise, to take provisions with you a small stock of your favorite vocal prayers and hymns and psalms that you can always fall back on in time of need. People sometimes complain that these prayers are impersonal because they are ready-made formulas. But this is not accurate. No two people recite the Lord's Prayer in quite the same way. When you recite the words of the Lord's Prayer, those words go down into your heart and mind. They shape you. They take on the coloring that you give them, and they ascend to God with the distinctive personal stamp that you have given them. So those formulas do not have to be impersonal at all. 